Hi there folks, it's Daniel here. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna demonstrate how we can access the clothing masking tools, but from within Photoshop. Now up on my screen here, we've got this image of my bride and groom. And what I'd like to do is make an accurate selection of my bride's dress so that I can actually drag away some of the color casts that we're seeing here. This little uh, yellowy, orangey color that we see on the dress. And we wanna get rid of that and purify and make the dress nice and white. Okay. So what we're going to do here is go over to the filter menu. We're gonna go down to the camera raw filter, okay? And once that interface opens up, you'll notice that it kind of looks like it does in Lightroom, okay? And all we need to do is go over to the masking tools here. And again, like yesterday, it's gonna pick up on the subjects in our frame. So we've got person one being the groom and person two being the bride. We're gonna select the bride in this case here, and we're gonna head straight to the clothes menu right here and click create, okay? Very, very simple, very much like yesterday, but this time we're doing it with a bride's dress. Now, upon closer inspection, we'll notice that it's not a great selection. It's done okay. It's selected most of the dress here, yeah? but we are going to perfect that even further. So you'll notice that we've got clothes here now. Next to it, we've got the three little dots here again, and we're gonna intersect this mask again. This time, we're not going to use the color range. We are going to use the luminance range, okay? And the reason why I'm choosing luminance this time around is because our bride's dress is nice and bright, it's nice and white, and we'll be able to get a good selection of her dress based on the luminance range, okay? How bright it is. So here we've got the luminance range slider or scale, and right here at the end here, these are the blacks, and on the right-hand side here, those are all the whites. What I'm gonna do is slide this over to the whites. So I'm telling Photoshop to select the whites in the dress. And this range over here seemed to have done a very nice job, okay? You can see that we're no longer getting the skin tones between the lace of the dress there, and we're getting a nice selection of the dress. We've still got little problematic areas like this over here, but that we're gonna deal with by adding and subtracting, okay? So we've got a nice range of the dress selected in this case. I'm just gonna play around with this a little bit further here until I get a selection that I'm happy with. It seems to be there. Let's go and select the subtract tools here. And again, like yesterday, we are looking at using the brush tool with an auto mask, okay? Let's get rid of that little area there, okay? Resize my brush tool and come into the skin tones over here. And we're gonna get rid of the skin tones in between the, the lace of the dress. Very, very simple. And with auto mask, it's even better. We've got the groom's hand over the back here. And it's as simple as that. We've got rid of those areas. Now we're gonna go over to the add mask tool. And this time we're gonna use the brush. And again, still auto mask active here. And resize the brush according to this area here and paint in the bride's veil there a little bit. We've got this little area over here that we can add in there. We've got a little white area over here that we need to select as well. And then just this little area inside here, and then that little area over there. As simple as that, folks. We'll go down to the bottom of the dress here just to make sure that we've got everything covered. Okay, we want to include all of this in the mask, okay? And then again, like yesterday, the software seems to miss the ends of dresses, okay? It's like a little glitch there. <laughs> anyway, we've got the dress selected nice and neatly now. Okay, so there we have it. Okay, coming into this little area here, and we've got a fairly nice selection of my bride's dress. Just perfecting it just the way I want it. Okay, there we go. All right, so like I said, my intention was to desaturate the dress, and that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna hide this overlay, and we're gonna go straight down to the saturation bar here. And I'm gonna just drag it right out to about, I'd say 40% there. And we've gotten rid of the color. Look at that, before and after. It's a very subtle change in this case, but it's a change that's welcomed. And we've made this dress nice and white. We can, of course, go over to the exposure here. We can pop up the exposure, but we don't wanna do too much and lose this area of our veil. So let's okay that and see the results. So there you have it. We've essentially made a nice selection of my bride's dress 
and we really purified the whites in the dress, giving us this nice finish. So there you have it, folks. This is using the clothing masking tools, but inside of Photoshop. So I hope this has been informative and we'll see you in the next session. Cheers for now.